Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm gonna do a review of my 50 ton Lego rotator. This Lego rotator was built off a chassis from a set back in 2008, 2009-ish uh, time frame, Lego City emergency tow or rescue tow. Uh, the helicopter transporter set in that came with the same cab. So back in the day, a show called Wrecked came out on Speed Channel and I learned what a rotator was and I thought it was so cool. So I wanted to build it. Um, so back in the day, I didn't really have all the pieces to build a Lego rotator, but I built the boom mechanism right here uh, and kind of the swivel part and mocked that up. And I had the helicopter transporter set, which I later turned into a flatbed rollback tow truck. Um, but kept the boom mechanism and kind of the rotator part always assembled with the idea that I'd eventually build a rotator. Fast forward about 12 years, uh, can't remember what year it was, but they came out with that blue semi-tow truck. Bought that, bought a couple of them, uh, got the boom off of it. And then found a Lego helicopter transporter set from 08. On eBay, uh, actually looking for the trailer part for a train I'm building, passenger train, and uh, found it off eBay, but it came with the cab, so it worked out. It's going sweet. Comes with the cab I've been wanting and also the trailer for my train. So bought that for eight bucks off eBay and threw it in my room and fast forward a year, finally took it out and said, I need to build this rotator. I have the boom. I have the cab. It's going to get built someday. So we're working on it. Um, the set was incomplete, which didn't bother me for eight bucks. I could deal with it. And uh, built the cab. It didn't come with any of the Lego City stickers. So kind of um, had some freedom. Added these grab handles on this truck. Uh, put on a Lego Racer stickers with the flames I've had for years. Uh, just kind of to spruce it up. Changed a few things on the cab, really minor details, and added the bigger wheels uh, just to work with the scale of my city. So the cab is pretty much Lego design, Lego built. I even included the their design of the hood, opening the engine inside. So everything from smokestack back is where I started playing. And to start out, we got these outriggers that lock the rotating mechanism in place. And there's one on each side. Those come out, lay flat. And this is the rotator uh, part of it right behind that. So in real life, I tried to make this as accurate to a 50 ton as I could. But with size in mind and Lego being Lego, I had to use what I had. Um, and I didn't want this to be a whole freight train or long truck driving down my street it's already about a size of a base plate actually compare it to a couple base plates right now got some right here just so you can see the size and length of it got these 16 by 16 base plates and put it on it's a 32 size base plate can't really see it in screen let me see if i can tilt it down real quick so Right there, you can see it a little bit better. Um, it is the size of a base plate or the length of a base plate. Pretty long truck already. And I got a minifig just to kind of put in comparison to how big it is. It is fairly realistic to a grown sized man and the size of the truck. Which I'm happy with the size and proportion. So here we got the rotator. And it does go up. It has two inch lens on it. On the back, easy to get to with guides. It doesn't swing a whole 180 degrees like in real life. Like I said, I didn't want to put the rotator further back and the boom I have no say in the length. So I was trying to make this as compact as I could but swings far enough to get to where I need it to. The boom does extend, has two winch lines. I'm not gonna extend it, but 
Just have the rod all the way through for full extension. Um, cargo boxes for tools. I have no tools or any detail in here. The right side's the same as the left. So what you're seeing on the right side is the same as the left side. You can see the doors go all the way through. Another little cargo box right here for tools and then a small, small one above the wheels right there. So back here is really where I started to experiment and spend hours trying to design and make it functional as close to as the real thing. Um, it's the underreach. I don't have rear outriggers. It's one thing I couldn't figure out how to do with the size. I, I could do it if I extended it one more stud, but like I said, I want to keep this as compact as I could. And it's already the length of a base plate. So I was very liberal on the length of the vehicle. And if I extend it one base plate, I'm sure I could get a rear outriggers and uh, spades on the rear of the truck to work like a real thing. But just kind of want to keep it shorter. So this is the underreach. It has a worm gear on the top, and then this is just spin this to have it go up and down. And so, let's see. It'll go up. Now this little part right here usually swings up and this is for uh to keep this from going side to side right there then you can drop this and this does turn for a vehicle and it's pretty strong with how i built it it does lift heavier vehicles so my fire trucks and everything i don't have any in reach i do have this plumber's truck so I'll demonstrate it with this it lifts up and we'll move that rigger up I'll leave the boom in the sky just for this demonstration but this turn does lift up And does stop flat right there, which that was the hard part of having that swing down and then also stop where I wanted it to while pivot left and right. And I'll be very conscious of the size of the whole deal. So I wanted it to fit without looking absolutely gaudy and big. So that's that. Lift it up. Lights I'm happy with in the back. The boom I'm happy with. I'm, I'm happy with how it turned out and how realistic and accurate it looks. Um, let's see if we can do a 360, kind of give you a better idea what it looks like. But this is modeled after a 50 ton, more of a Mac style truck rotator. It has four axles, three in the rear, two outriggers, no spades in the back or rear outriggers, but does rotate and does work to lift the vehicle. So if you liked my video and you liked my review, uh, click like, hit subscribe. If you want, check me out on Instagram. I got more photos of the truck and other tow trucks I'm working on. Uh, my name's the same. It's going to be UR underscore studs underscore showing. But let me know what you think of my rotator and the years it took me to finally get on and build it. Have a good one.